Good afternoon. My name is Jeff Michaels. I'm the Acting Director of Athletics here at Shippensburg. It is a pleasure to have you on our campus today, and I thank you for attending today's gathering. The sequence of events will be Coach Reese will come to the podium shortly, followed by the other individuals up front. To my left is our president, Dr. William Rood. Next to our president is our vice president of student affairs, Dr. Roger Sir. Uh, following the comments from both Dr. Rood and Dr. Sir, there will be a question and answer period. Coach? Thank you for uh, gathering here today. Today I'm announcing my retirement at the conclusion of the academic year of 2010-2011. After 40 years of coaching at five institutions, 32 years as a head coach, and 21 years of service here at Shippensburg University community and for the program, I will be stepping down and returning the reins of the football team to the university for their next chosen leader. I've had a coaching career that has spanned eight pre U.S. presidents. I have seen three presidents at the university here, Dr. Setia, Dr. Harpster, and now Dr. Rood. And I have seen three athletic directors, Jim Perbula, Roberta Page, and now Jeff Michaels. I've seen over 40 assistants, almost 50 assistants, come through the doors of our football office and practice fields. I have witnessed the growth and development of about 2,000 young American boys turning themselves into men as they compete with themselves and with their opponents to become what better than they were before they came to Shippensburg University. Many of life's lessons and skills were placed upon their plate. My only hope is that when they left, they left sufficiently nourished for their future challenges. Coaching is somewhat of a unique endeavor. As I have always said, it is a vocation and not an occupation. I, feel the, I felt the calling myself as a young man when I watched my father organize and coach the CYO Basketball League at my parish. But because it is a vocation, it is all consuming and, and all demanding. And I have been involved with the sport since 1963 as a player and as a coach. My falls have been given up to the boys of fall, and it has been a seven day a week, August through April effort for the last four decades of my life. I think it's time for someone else to pick up the ball and advance it. In early August, after making my decision, I tenured my letter of announcing my intention to retire. I did it then so that the university would have ample time to find their next head football coach and so that the program would not lose valuable time in recruiting and in spring practice. I felt this was the best solution for the welfare of the current players whom I love. I'll be leaving the football office, but I will never ever really leave SHIP. My wife Patty is buried here. My daughter is a graduate of SHIP. Many of my fondest memories are linked to Shippensburg University and to the people who make this a special place. SHIP is my home. I will miss the close relationships that I have with the coaches and the players, the trainers and the team physicians, some of whom are here today. But it's time to turn the page of my life and read the next chapter. I want to acknowledge the support, love, friendship and encouragement that I have received over the years from my parents, Ed and Marion, from my brothers Pete, Pat and Matt and their families. But I especially want to say thanks to my departed wife, Patty, and to my daughter, Megan, for their understanding and acceptance of this life's work. I also want to say thank you to the medical staff that I've worked with throughout the years for all their support, Steve, Doc Sr. and Doc Jr. and Wes and all the crew, all the students that work there, to the equipment staff over my years of Steiny and Denny and Hammer and Kurt, along with all the student helpers that have passed my way. I especially want to say thanks to the football staff, Mac, Pete, Mike, JC, John, Mark, TJ, Chance, Tunde, and Raleigh, all those I want to say thank you to, and all of the other ones who went before them. They are more than just coworkers. They are friends that are as close as blood family. Finally, thanks to Shippensburg University administrators that brought me here and kept, me, kept believing in the vision of the program when others would have had them turn away, and instead they stayed the course. My biggest and most sincere thank you goes to those devoted, to who devoted themselves to
to playing football here at SHIP and believe in the concept of team as family and that hard work will reap rewards and that integrity and respect are earned. They are the players. They have had the greatest influence on my professional life. They have given to me more than I ever gave to them. Thank you and go Raiders. Rocky, on behalf of the Shippensburg University family, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, from the time you put a football helmet on at uh, that little school east of here called uh, Westchester, who we have to take care of on CBS football uh, that Thursday night, uh, till today, uh, we know that you have uh, eaten, slept, and breathed football. Uh, we appreciate all your efforts on behalf of the university. Uh, we thank you for the legacy. Uh, that ring you're wearing on your finger from last year makes you very proud. Uh, that new stadium out there, I think, makes you very proud. And we at Chippensburg University are extremely proud of all your accomplishments, both on and off the field. Uh, and we will not take no for an answer that you will come back time and again once you retire. And uh, grace us with your presence, uh, your wit, your wisdom, occasionally your advice. Uh, and you know the door is always open at Chippensburg University, so congratulations, Rock. I'm actually not going to talk about football. I'm going to talk about how um, blessed I really think we've been on this campus to uh, have Rocky Reese as our head football coach. I think he's been a great role model. I think he's uh, really responded well to the players. And I think when he talks about young, men grow, young boys growing into men, I mean, he really means it. And, I, and I, I'm just so proud that, that he's been with us all these years. And quite frankly, I'm going to miss you because I consider you a friend. So, but he's not leaving, so we'll see him around. Rock, congratulations.